to episode 2 of Holy Swore. Today we want to talk about how we can make things better. Let's make things better. Better for ourselves and better for the people that are around us. But how can we make things better? I just want to invite you right now to the place of Holy Swore. Where your swore is holy and your swore is your worship. By worshiping your true God, our Heavenly Father, the God who is above all, the God who is the creator of heaven and earth and the fullness thereof. Him alone knows us well. And by connecting to Him, to our worship, that's how we can make things better, better for ourselves and better for the people around us. We want to say thank you to God. Let's say thank you to God. Thank God for all that He has done for you. Thank God for all the tears that He has wiped away. Thank God for all the time that you felt that you heard your prayers. Yes, for you have shed so many tears. You felt misunderstood. You felt alone. You felt that you were struggling to get hurt. You are struggling for people to know that you're right and not wrong. But today I want to invite you to forget about this struggle of wanting people to know that you're right and not wrong. And take that time. Turn this energy, this passion, this struggle into your strength, into a worship, the worship to your living God, the God who knows your soul and can see through your eyes. Yes, God can see through your eyes all the way to your soul. He knows already. You don't have to tell him all that is within you. He knows it all. He knows it all. Trust Him. Just trust Him. Can you trust Him today? Trust Him. Just trust Him. Bring Him to Him that worship. The worship that you know is within you. Yes, you know how to worship God. Tell Him how marvelous He is. Tell him how faithful he is. And he knows the Tell calling him. upon your life. But you can only connect to that calling by connecting to God. Connecting your, to your God, to your worship. And by worshiping God, you can make things better. Things can become better. Better for you. Better for the people around you because His presence will fill your place. The place of sorrow, the place of burden, the place of unrest. As the presence of God begins to fill this place and replace all those troubles with His presence. You begin to feel yourself. You begin to feel better. Are you feeling better? It's joy that starts to overflow. And this overflowing joy becomes contagious. Contagious to the people around you. I'm inviting you right now to open your arms and your heart. To send a smile to your God. 
and tell him that you are ready to worship him. And tell him that you are ready to say, Father, Abba, Father, here I am to worship you. Here I am to bow down before your throne and to acknowledge you, acknowledge you, royalty. Royalty you are, royalty you are to me. Begin to acknowledge His glory. Begin to say to God the very first thing that you want to tell Him. Tell Him that Father, I love you. Tell Him, tell Him Jesus, Lord, I love you. You are the God who reigns and reigns and reigns forever and forevermore. You are the God who is the Prince of Peace. You are the Son of the Living God. You are the Living Word. It's only with you that I can breathe. You are the sustainer of my being, of my soul. And I surrender all to you, body, mind, soul, spirit, strength, thought. Fill me up with your grace and your presence. Oh, for the rest of my life, I just want to worship you. on earth and in heaven forever and forever. Thank God. Thank God for who he is to you. And bless his name. Bless his name. His name is above every other name. At the mention of his name, every tongue confess that he is God. Every knee is God. And every tongue confess that he is God. He is Lord. Yes, he is Lord. And that's the God that you are by. Bowing to. You are not bowing to. A God that is not merciful. You're not bowing to a God who doesn't understand you. He does. That's why your worship needs to be a true worship. There's no pretending. There's no fitness. He deserves your best. He deserves your best. Give him that true worship. Worship Him in spirit and in truth. And believe that He had heard your worship. Believe that He had heard your voice. And know that His presence is filling you right now. His spirit is taking control of you right now. His Spirit is forever present with you, so there is no need to struggle that whether or not He has heard you. Your God has heard you today. As you have worshipped Him and came before Him to say, Father, let Thy will be done on earth as it is. In heaven. Thank you for following this episode of Holy Cross. Thank you for following this episode of Holy Sword today. God bless you and see you next time. <laughs>